back to my channel and welcome if you're new here i'm michaela and i want to thank you so much for coming in today's video i'll be discussing how i'm able to ship items straight from aliexpress to my house here in jamaica so if you want to just keep on watching okay so in my first video where i did a mini aliexpress haul um i said that if you guys wanted information on how you're able to ship items straight from aliexpress to jamaica then let me know and i got a lot of comments saying that you know oh, i want to know how so i'm like you know girl i got you so i'll just be discussing that here today um i also in the first video i asked for 20 likes and i got way more than that i got i think now i have 57 and i'm so 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 grateful for that so for this video i'm just gonna ask you know we're gonna be a little bit ambitious here but if we can get a hundred likes on this video and now i have 54 subscribers so i'm asking if i can get at least let's see 90 all right so let's just try for that and let's just get right into the video okay so i just want to make a disclaimer um i personally don't think that right now is the best time to be ordering from aliexpress really and truly um given our current global crisis i feel like the best time would be to wait until after things have settled down because china they're currently dealing with their situation and we're currently dealing with ours here and correct me, correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like it will take a little bit longer um to get your items and honestly i don't really not you know i sat in apart from just that i don't think that really is the smartest thing to do right now but i mean we're not really going out anywhere right now so i feel like you know just wait it out wait until things are kind of back to normal before we you know go ahead and just order from aliexpress but um given the fact that a lot of persons wanted to see this video and want to see how they're able to order from aliexpress when the time comes then of course i'm still gonna do it so you know you can put the stuff in your cart so that when you're able to or when you're ready to order then you just you know click order and you get what you want okay so um i have a few tips for ordering from aliexpress and the first thing that i have to say is that you need to be patient so you go on aliexpress and you're gonna see a million things pop up on the home page and then really and truly you just went to buy like a pair of earrings and then they're gonna be trying to like sell you a blend or a mattress and you're like oh my god you know like i need a blend and you really don't you know what i mean um and you'll just spend hours and hours just going through but no just you know know what you're going in for or know what you're looking for and be patient in the sense that you know the things are gonna take really really long to come once you've placed the order it's, it's, it's gonna take long i mean they're in china or singapore or, you know somewhere on that side of the world that's where majority of the things come from and we're here in jamaica which is you know millions of miles away so just be patient i mean i wouldn't suggest ordering something for a specific event when you're ordering from aliexpress because no it's 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 unless it's like a few months ahead or even a year ahead or a few months a year kind of extra but be patient it's gonna take a while so the other thing that you need to know is if mail delivers directly to your house or if it delivers to the post office near you and if it delivers to the post office near you then what post office is that so for me my mail delivers directly to my house so that's the route i'm able to speak about so i order my things and then they tell me the shipping time i put in my address and then it delivers directly to my house so i don't have to go anywhere to pick it up but for the persons that um you know they their mail delivers to the post office i think i think or i could be wrong i think that um once your package has arrived i believe the post office will send you a slip or a little paper letting you know that okay your package is here you need to go and pick it up but don't hold me to it because i'm not sure but i know for me my stuff delivers to my house it comes in the mail postman drop it off and i get my stuff but really and truly you need to know that piece of information when ordering on aliexpress i personally order things that either have free shipping to jamaica or really cheap shipping to jamaica now 
you'll go on you'll see many items and they'll say free shipping free shipping to jamaica whatever whatever you click on those and check if the shipping is actually free um and in other things the shipping might not be free but it'll be like 30 cents which to me it's not that big of a deal if it's coming directly to my house here and i don't have to go to a shipping company and pay you know their extravagant fee for a pair of earrings which doesn't really make sense you know what i mean so i personally get things with free shipping or really cheap shipping another thing i'd say before making like a huge order on aliexpress is to test this out first so um the first thing that i did i ordered something that was really cheap like it was a dollar with free shipping and i i just wanted to see if it would actually deliver to my house here in jamaica or if you know if it would actually just work so i'd suggest doing that you go on you look for something that's really cheap you order it you wait for it it's gonna take like a month or two really and truly yes it it it, it takes long it's gonna take one to two months so you know but it's better to wait and see if it actually works than you know you place like a hundred dollar order and nothing comes so i'd say test it out first see if it works and then once you know that it works then you can go on to you know placing a bigger order if you want another tip is that i don't buy items unless they have reviews a lot of reviews and good reviews so you know you'll go on and you see something and you're like wow this looks so good and then you go down to the reviews and you're like no 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 so always check the reviews and that's part of the reason that you know if i'm shopping online anywhere that is i like to give reviews because i know the person's coming after me um they want to see what the item actually looks like so it's always good to leave a review even if it's good even if it's bad be honest about your reviews so that person's coming after you they don't make the same mistakes so always check, make sure that there are good reviews and there are images. Make sure there are images so that you can see what you're really getting. So I know I said that I'll order things that either have free shipping or really cheap shipping from AliExpress, but you kind of need to take that with a grain of salt. And now let me tell you what I mean by that. So for example, if you're on a site like Amazon and you're scrolling and you see something like a set of five earrings for ten dollars and you're like you know i really like these earrings but i don't like all of them i like only three pairs but you don't you don't want to buy the entire set of five because you're like i don't want the other two i mean even though it works out to only two dollars a pair you know you say okay i don't want to do that then you go on aliexpress and you see the same earrings and you're able to buy the singles for like two dollars per pair and you're like okay finally i can get the three pairs that i want i don't have to buy the whole five so suppose you buy the the three sets of earrings right and each earring or each pair has a shipping cost of a dollar so that works out to be nine dollars in total because you're paying two dollars per pair for the three pairs and then one dollar for each you're paying one dollar for each pair for shipping so that works out to be nine dollars and you're only getting three pairs as opposed to if you go on amazon and if you have amazon prime you don't pay for shipping you get the five pairs for ten dollars and then with the extra two you can either give it away you can sell it or maybe you'll come around to liking it so you know you kind of need to work out what makes the most sense and don't just buy things because oh it just looks cheaper because a lot of times, you know, we're kind of penny wise and pound foolish. So you kind of need to look and see what makes the most sense and don't just buy just because. Also with that, you'll get your items much faster. So you need to kind of weigh the pros and weigh the cons of each situation. So in the next clip, I'll be showing you how I enter my shipping information on my laptop, which is what I prefer to do. And it's really easy. So just okay so this is what the home page looks like and at the top you'll see a jamaican flag you're just gonna click on that option and you'll see ship to jamaica language and currency whether you want to shop in us dollars or jamaican dollars and then you click save after that what you'll do you'll see the account option you click on the account option and it will bring you to a page on the page you'll see my shipping address and you just click that 
and on this page i had my address but i blurred it out you click add a new address so this is a fictitious address but it's just to give you an idea of what you do click save and now you have a new address saved and you're able to shop I'll be showing you how I use the app. Okay, so using the app, I'm just going to type in earrings. You can be as specific as you want. And it comes up with a lot of options. I just chose the first one. It said it was cheap. And it says it has free shipping there. However, even though it says that it has free shipping, you always need to double check. So I chose my option and I'm going to scroll down to shipping. And you see where it's really not free. So I'm just going to come out of this and choose another one. okay so the second option very nice earrings i'm just gonna choose the one i want scroll down to shipping choose you know ship to jamaica and it says it has free shipping so i'm just gonna go ahead and add that to my cart and this is really simple so i'm gonna go to my cart choose the earrings um check out and then you know you can choose your payment method and your shipping address and then you can place your order so sometimes you want and you say oh my gosh you know i want this item it's only two dollars and then you look at the shipping and it says like 50 us dollars no that makes no sense right like that makes absolutely no sense so personally i don't bother with that or if you actually want it really badly then you can just go and the tab where it says ship to you can change it to the us and if you have a shipping company that has a like an, a us shipping address then you can just ship it to that company and the shipping a lot of times will be free to the us and then you just go on and pick it up from your shipping company so you're scrolling and then you stumble upon these earrings that you like with the pink crosses and you click it and you're like wow these are nice 244 i can do this but then you scroll down and you see the shipping is what forced two dollars to jamaica that makes no sense so you're like mm -mm, nah bro not doing it you come out because that makes no sense but then you're like well i have some pink cross pants that i want to wear it with let me see how much it costs to ship to the us and then you're like it's free so you're like okay maybe i'll just ship it to my shipping company if you want it that bad then you can do that i remember i was saying that i will ship things that either have free shipping or really cheap shipping so in the next clip i'll be showing you how i you know select my items with really cheap shipping so that it actually makes sense then the other thing is that even though some things don't have free shipping, they may have really affordable shipping. So like this pair of earrings, um, it's 50 cents and the shipping is 63 cents to your house in Jamaica. So it's really not that much. If you want to ship it straight to your house, then it's not breaking the bank. Something that I forgot to mention was the method of payment. And I believe for AliExpress is the same method of payment that you can use for other websites. So whether it is you're using a Visa debit card or a Visa credit card, um, the only thing is that I don't think AliExpress accepts PayPal. So um, if you want, you can just go on and check and see, you know, if your method of payment will work, but it should. The only thing I think is just um, PayPal that doesn't work, but let me know if you guys have any more questions or comments or concerns. All right, guys, I want to thank you so, so, so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as mentioned before in the intro, I'm really hoping for 100 likes on this video and 90 subscribers. So let's make that happen. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have any more questions about ordering from AliExpress and I will answer those. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and have a wonderful day bye